Oh, why, hello there, live YouTube inhabitants. <laughs> Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy. Talking to myself. Alright, we're gonna try this live streaming. And see if it works. Oh, I see you guys are lagging behind me. Can you hear anything? So. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Alright, you can hear stuff. It is confirmed. So, before I start doing any world building, let's see if anybody will show up. I don't need to do live world building by myself. Maybe at least I'll start drawing. Now, the other thing is, I'll start drawing soon. Might as well. Alright. Let's start drawing, and I'll try to remember to check back there to make sure. Let's see if any of y'all folks are hanging out. Alright, I can't find my Wacom. Oh, here it is. I couldn't find my little pen. Alright, cool. I'm gonna start with drawing a continent. I'm gonna sketch it out with like a. Uh, Yeah, in a more sketchy way. Usually I, I use the full opacity. Oh my goodness, someone's here. Wait, I have to check the chat. Yo. <laughs> That's cool, I got a little crown. I'm awesome. I don't know if I can tell who's watching. Three people are watching. Greetings, folks. Alright, I'm going to start drawing. So what I want you guys to do is give me some ideas. I think I'm going to use the tectonic plates method because that's pretty fun. I like doing that. But I want you guys to give me some ideas on uh, like what you want to see. So at least for the continent level that we're starting with, maybe uh, you know like a a certain uh, continent in the real world that we could use. We could model our thing after. Alright, that looks like a little creature. Oh man, let's give him a little eyeball lake. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let me check the chat. Yo, what's up, Skeletor? Dang, man, I got an evil villain, a powerful villain, checking out the live stream. It's pretty wild. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's do a couple more, more uh, continents. I don't want this to be too crazy because, well, I guess it can be as crazy as we want it to be. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, kind of messed up. It's okay. We're going to go Command-Shift-I, Command-Copy. Oops. Okay. Okay, cool. Oops. So now this is on its own layer. Right. Oh, I don't want to... Okay, let's get rid of this. Alright, that should be chill. So let's check out the chat. What's going on? <laughs> Alright. I think I'll check back a little more infrequently. But I need you guys to contribute, because or else what's the point of doing the live stream? Know what I mean? It's supposed to be collaborative world building. I know this is an early stage, but... Whatever. I'm kind of not liking this, but I think when we smash it together, it'll be better. It'll be a lot more interesting. Um, you know what? Let's put a continent here that gets squished and creates a mountain range. All right, I'm gonna start squishing. Unless, I guess I gotta wait because there's a delay. But this is your last chance to get in on a continent level. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start smashing them. Oops. So what kind of world are we creating? Fantasy world. 
Aside from that, I have no uh, preconceived notions. So um, I'm hoping it will be an interesting experience. Transform. Let's rotate this one and smash them in. Now I don't want to be nitpicky. So what would this like? This might smash. All right, maybe I should do a warp transform. And this thing, oops. Yeah, this is cool. I haven't done this before. So it smashes in and it gets pushed. There's gonna be a big mountain range there. Maybe like that. Boom. So um, I've created a few worlds. I have an idea of like apocalyptic feudalism. Oh, that's sick. Post-apocalyptic fantasy. All right, this is gonna be good. So we gotta uh, figure out what caused the apocalypse at some point. Is it a natural catastrophe or is it a, you know, human-made disaster? A human-caused catastrophe. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on the heater while you guys ponder that real quick. Because it's chilly. It's getting chilly out here. And put on my magic robe. It gives me plus two in world building skills. I'm just gonna throw that on. I should put that on in the first place. You'll probably notice my world building skills dramatically improve after this point. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, I should play music. People when they're always playing in the background. That sounds like it would be a lot more relaxing. I'm gonna turn on my little TV thing and I'll go find some like fantasy fantasy background music that sounds chill well let's keep world building for now while well, that's loading up let me see if Skeletor has said anything Neo Plague okay all right now hmm okay let's think about that plague is a tough one because how do you fight a plague I guess you have to find the cure and some evil dude has the cure so if it's a man-made plague that uh that makes it easier so we're going to have an enormous mountain range right here where all three of these come together. You're going to see, oh, this is going to be sick. Hold on, I'll sketch it out real quick. So you've got, you're going to have, oops, what's going on? Hello? Oh, do you select this? All right, you're going to have like one mountain range like this. And then, oh man, I got I to gotta bring this down because it's too, it's too large. And it's on. There's gonna be two smaller mountain ranges that are squeezing this chunk of of rock. And I'm thinking maybe it's even a different like type of material, like a different color or something, like a red, you know, like some kind of red rock. And it's just like jutting out from between. Like these are mountains already, and then like a forest is like, ch -ch 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 -ch. you know what I'm saying? That's pretty. Those are some huge. It's crazy, man. And living in the little crevices in here, in between, you could have all sorts of weird creatures. I'm digging that idea. Alright, let me smash this one in and then I'll see if Skeletor has any more details about this Neo Plague he's presuming. Maybe I'll just move it over like that. Boom, this is crazy. There's going to be so much pirate action happening in here. I'm stoked. All right, man. We got a pretty cool landmass. Man and li and woman. <laughs> oh, what's up? We got a couple more homies. Hey, what you see? I know that guy. What's up, dude? Hey. I'm thinking of plague carried by animals, perhaps rodents or livestock. No, no, no. This is a fantasy world, my friend, Cryptic. This is carried by animals, perhaps, but the animals are going to be... Well, I guess we could have it low fantasy like Conan. But we could also have it being carried by, like, dinosaurs. Like, a dinosaur plague sounds incredible to me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Give me some other crazy animals if we're going to... And then what do you think? Should we do it low fantasy or high fantasy? That's the other question. Um, either way could work. Yo, first time catching one of your streams. You know what? I think this is the first time I've successfully streamed. It seems like the stream is actually streaming. And the other time I did it, it was, like, totally lagging yeah no this is like my first i think well i did one more stream it was, 
a long time ago. So yeah. Yeah, I can type here. Yo. <laughs> All right, whatever. Low fantasy. No one. All right, can we put it to a vote? How do we do that? Um, low fantasy? All right, everyone's low fantasy. All right, let's do it for sure. This is going to be a gritty post-apocalyptic future in a low fantasy world. So let me switch my mind over to Conan because I was thinking like World of Chibu and Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, all right, let me just do 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 just like reprogram that. All right, cool. So I got to actually do some stuff over here. So let's create some large mountains. So if it's low fantasy, I'm definitely going to have some pirate influence because I love me some pirates. And I'm playing in a campaign where, um, oh, these got to be really tall. Let me make sure I indicate that. Where we got a, we got a ship and I'm playing a tiefling bard pirate. With a school of swords. Bards are pretty sick, actually. All right, but let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. All right, I can make these look taller later. Keep things rough for now so we can change them however we want. All right, what do you, yeah, low fantasy, man. Dang, so why is everyone so into low fantasy? What's up, Jimmy? I don't know how to say your last name, Ro Roche. Um, <laughs> dude, finally. <laughs> yeah, I talked to Jimmy and he was, he had a lot of good ideas. So, and I think live streaming was one of them. And, uh, and I agreed, and then I finally did it. Like, this is like a month later. <laughs> All right, cool. No, this is actually a lot of fun. Okay, so if we're going to go for a plague, it's low fantasy, but like, I still, uh, I guess, okay, if a plague just kills people, does that create for an interesting setting? You know what, hold on, I don't like this mountain. This mountain range is looking too square. So is that one. It's got no beauty, it's got no rhythm to it. Got no beauty. Let's get it. Let's have it like flowing, like maybe even it comes up here. All right, that should be fine. Cool. So so far, what I'm seeing out of this world building is that this continent and this continent are like fundamentally divided, either by water or by these crazy mountains. So you're gonna have to travel by sea to do trade and stuff from these between these two and that could be tricky if there's pirates and I think right here like this is a pirate cove right there that's gotta be this looks like a pirate cove to me let's see what you gotta say you're gonna learn so much faster alright I believe it modern day James what is this oh oh you learn from modern day James I don't know alright yo I don't know what's going on I know who you are Jimmy <laughs> All right, high fantasy maybe play created by a specific race, maybe elves or gnomes. You're gonna be my name out. Okay, we're gonna go low fantasy though, but I like that. That's true. We could use the race thing to make things more interesting. Mix it up. Great. I'm getting. All right. All right. Oh, <laughs> the drama begins. All right. Cool. So um, it's all good. <laughs> uh, Panda of the final end. What's up, dude? Panda of the final end, please ex explain your screen name. It's cryptic and frightening. <laughs> All right, so we got some mountains. Cool. What else we want to do here? I mean, it looks like there are some mountains here, but like maybe that was a long time ago that these two were two separate ones. So now they're just hills, maybe a couple mountains. It's mostly a hilly region, and maybe the whole thing is like kind of rippled the landscape. These could be plains where, like, horsemen, you know. I always like the Mongol-type horsemen. So we could have something that's uh, roughly based on those guys. That's usually how I think. Like, okay, we'll have Mongol horsemen here. We'll have European barbarian types here. We'll have blah, blah, blah. But we don't have to do it that way. So plague is... Hmm. So plague can easily carry, be carried on ships. It could have been created by the pirates, in order to destabilize the lands so that the pirate king can take over all the regions with his pirate army. That could be interesting. Am I the only one who likes pirates, by the way? Alright. Um, going HC. Oh, is the stream popping in and out? Um, world 
building myself. Got any tips? I'm pretty good with the economic and social aspects, but some topography is difficult. I do know how rivers and lakes work, though. Cool. Well, I just at the beginning I was doing some um, like mountain creation with the uh, smashing together of tectonic plates. So that's the method I like to use to create some like mountain type regions. And then from there, the rivers usually come off the mountain. So that works pretty naturally. Uh, but what was the world like before the apocalypse? Great question. We should start at the beginning. Um, okay, so it's going in and out. I'm going to try to move my location. Because I believe if I do that, it might fix everything. But then I would be running on battery power. Alright, you guys. This is crazy. This is why live streaming is crazy, you guys. Alright. Hey. Oh, one sec. Sorry, I'm doing. Alright. One sec. <laughs> oh, we have visitors and stuff. I did not expect that. That is. That is unexpected. I probably should say hi, but now I'm live streaming. Man, this live streaming stuff's crazy. Alright. We won't do a crazy long live stream, perhaps. Like, okay, someone likes Pirate. It's back. I lost connection for a while. It's going in and out. Yeah, it is. YouTube being YouTube. Check out the channel. Yeah, yeah. That's true. You know what I can do? Holy smokes. Boom, dude. You just... That's it. I do have a second screen, though, I actually could use. But not in here anymore, because I had to move. Tell me if it's any better. If it's not better, then, um... I'm going to go back to my place. <laughs> All right. So, let's get some forests in here and some rivers. And then I think we're going to be good. So, actually, I'm going to duplicate this with the continent level. And we'll zoom in later. And we'll continue developing the story. So, um, we've got pirates. we got maybe a, a certain race is spreading the disease. And that would be interesting because it would create things where there's like a, a stigma against a particular racial group. Maybe it's elves. Elves are usually it's a disease that only hmm. No, if it only spreads to elves, then that wouldn't right? That wouldn't really do it. Alright. You guys let me know if it yeah, let me know if it keeps if it's like significantly better now than before. Alright. So I duplicated the layer. No, did I? Yeah, okay. Cool. And um, I'm going to do some rivers first. So I feel like the rivers will inform where the uh, forests should go. So so I like to think also where, what direction the wind usually blows in. So I'm going to arbitrarily choose this way. So this side of the land is going to be more fert not fertile, <laughs> uh, luscious with green stuff than on this side. Probably, which also suits like a desert, nomadic kind of area. Okay, so the things coming in here, we're going to get tons of water. This whole area is probably going to be a huge, beautiful, luscious forest. All right. So we have two main rivers. And then coming into those rivers, we'll have smaller tributaries like that. And then from here, maybe this one actually goes into a lake. Now, I don't know too much about how a lake works, except for that when, you know, there's a low, you know, a low recess of land. Or if, I guess, if two plates were pulling apart and it caused, a, like, a rift kind of thing where there's a depression. All right, see, everything's good now. Low fantasy just like humans. Yeah, that's a good question. We could have a couple other fantasy races, but they would be treated more like realistically and that they don't have like magic powers and stuff they're just like kind of different humans maybe they're slightly better or different you know at certain things but they're not like crazy all right don't know I don't know if it was brought up let's figure out what the world was like before the plague yes we got to do that what is the world like before the plague I think it's stuff like adventure 
Adventure Time had nuclear bombs. <laughs> I don't know what how Adventure Time got into this, but that would be like super high fantasy, like like stoned fantasy. <laughs> That's like Adventure Time, like <laughs> like beyond high fantasy, where just anything goes. Um, highest fantasy. Uh, river goes from the mountains. Yep, that's why they look like noodly. It could have been like an advanced society with cars. Oh, interesting. So you're thinking like it's it's a fantasy world now, but before it was a um, you know, like a uh, a more modern and more a modern technology. That's an interesting idea. That in that case you'd probably have like modern type buildings. All right, let's do a couple more. I don't really like this coastline right here. So let's go like this. Oops. Oh man, I wanted to get that same color. I forget. I think it's like I'll just do that. All right, and then I want to get some dark brown and. This coastline needs to be a lot more interesting. You know what? Let's shape the coastline based on the river. So let's say that this coastline was like how it was long ago. And now that this river... Okay, lakes have only one exit, I believe. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, uh, uh, swamp, swamp results from low ground zone. That's cool. So we could have some swamps over here. I like that idea. I usually indicate swamps with like three little little plant guys sticking out okay um planes just above the swamp okay that's cool we'll have planes here and uh, these could be flood planes so great for farming there's gonna be forest up here so these will be the flood planes hey um yo what's up yeah okay <laughs> I'm live streaming and my dad's like whispering really softly okay so it's not for work. I mean what I'm doing, so it's not really like <laughs> Alright, cool. So um who's here by the way? Somebody who bought a uh something that Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So I don't need to go say hi and stuff necessarily. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I don't want to say hi right now. Alright, and then we'll have these rivers go up here. And let's say that most of the drainage here just goes straight into into these two bays. So it's actually kind of dry once you get onto the side of the mountains almost immediately. In fact, you know, there'll be like, like small streams instead of uh, like any major rivers. How do you represent a village or an important landmark? That's a good question. Different type of energy to fuel. Yeah, the energy source. The energy source could be like the one kind of fantasy ingredient and then the rest could be treated very low fantasy so like maybe there's no magic but the energy source is kind of magical or maybe there are very few people who would have that power like tanks more recently deserts are ancient sea i believe greeting for for the dad oh greeting for the dad <laughs> this guy called what you see assume it's a guy assume you're a dude um, this guy says hi. hi. <laughs> he's uh, uh, he's like uh, commented on my videos for a long time. All right, so uh, steampunk. Okay. Wait, what? Steampunkish? Yeah, we could do steampunk. I don't know how we're gonna figure out. Maybe like an ancient war fitter. I don't know what fitter is. <laughs> You're gonna have to. I think that's a typo. Okay, so this is gonna be a crazy huge river. Let's say. Um, so it's carving the landscape. So let's actually, I'm gonna duplicate this layer now. I like to do that every once in a while so that I have my backup. So let's go over to the land and let's see that first off, there's gonna be crazy sediment deposits. So this is gonna crazy, this is gonna be a floodplain. So, you know, when it rains a lot here, lots of little rivers. Let's make my. Things smaller. All right, so lots of tiny rivers flowing into this main river. You know, 
creeks and streams or whatever. This is great farming land. All right. And then all the sediment is deposited down here. So we're going to have like a New Orleans or a, what's it called? New Orleans. What's it? Uh, what's that city that's on the that's at the end of the Mississippi River? New Orleans. Yeah. Oh, so I'm saying it. Okay. What's the um, state that it's in? Louisiana. Louisiana. Okay. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Where all the set? Have you ever looked at it on the map? Yeah, yeah. It's like a little, and you can yeah. see it just branching out and stuff. So, I was thinking of doing that over here. And so in Louisiana, it's like a swampland mostly. Yeah. And people live like, how did they build their houses on stilts? Some of them, yeah. There's actually a movie that's pretty interesting about. Oh, what's it called? I got it. That actually would be really. I might watch that. East of the Southern Wild or something like that. All right, let me write that down. East. Any of y'all know about New Orleans? Is it Orleans or Orleans or it's both? Doesn't matter. Uh, New Orleans. New Orleans. The way actually no, these should be. The way, okay, hold on. I didn't do this the way I think I want to do this. Maybe I should just go on Google Maps right now and look at it. Learn something. Let's do it. All right. Let me bring your Google Maps up here. If you use Escocia to do searches, you'll uh, they'll plant trees for you or something. So that's what I do. <laughs> All right. And then let's go to uh, New Orleans. Maybe we'll check out Old Orleans afterwards. Let's go to satellite. And that's good enough. There it is. I got it actually up here now on Google Maps. Beast. On New Orleans? What are you looking at? Oh, no. Beast. no. Beast. Oh, Beasts of Southern the Southern Wild. Wild. Okay. So, which, but it doesn't so seem Beast. Like All right. I'll have to find it. That's a weird name for a documentary about New Orleans. Uh, it's not really a documentary. Oh, it's not so comes out here. It's like swamp oh, just swamp people in general. All right, that's cool. Now look at this crazy geography right here, man. New Orleans is amazing. The geography is like, hold up, hold up. Where is this? Where's the Mississippi River? I think it's that right there. How do I turn off the? All right, I don't want to get too into this. But this. We're going to make this crazy. All right, you guys. And then there's going to be like a long stretch here. Something like that. So the river is created land, and then the river has flowed over the land. It's created. And that's what seems to have happened here. And it kind of comes off. And the delta, oh, it's like the delta of the river is on the peninsula that it's created. Would you say that's a accurate description? What? That the delta of the river is on the peninsula that it created. You know, uh, over time, just depositing really sediment. Peninsula. It's a little, it looks pretty penins peninsula. It looks like, to be like something surrounded. Well, yeah. Just I this little thing. But that's the river right there, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's interesting because it flows like that would have, it probably was stopped there at one point or yeah, even yeah. way up here. Right. And it's just all this has been deposited and then a the river flows right. over its own deposits. That's yep. pretty cool. I like that. Yep. <laughs> and then, do you know if this is coral? That's not deposits, right? No. That's that, going to be what? It could be, I mean, if it's above ground, then those are mangrove uh, islands and swamp and you know like little mangrove islands mm. Mm. but that's got to be what like a coral reef or a mountain range an old mountain range no no i think it's what do you think why is it sticking out like that in a weird little well they maybe got deposited sea. and built up because of the current and then some seeds got there and then you know oh i actually saw something in a nature book where yeah the it, the deposit and the the ocean pulls it out a little ways and almost creates like a little hill underwater which eventually can yeah can breach the water okay cool cool all right so let's go with that now 
abandoned theme park in the middle. That's cool. Oh man, you guys are throwing me out of my comfort zone with all this steampunk and modern stuff. An entire dungeon below the theme park. That's cool. Wow. All right. Like the delta of the Nile or the Amazon. Yeah, but I think the Nile and the Amazon are just like their deltas are more inland. So let's make another river where it has just like an inland delta for that, for the sake of that. Like actually this one right here would make sense. It just splits off right here and there's almost maybe a um, an inlet because that's where the, the sea level is, where the land level is lowest. As opposed to an outlet where all the sediment's being deposited. And I'm going to make this darker and thicker to show that it's... Show that it's a uh, larger river. All right, I'm gonna need some rivers here. So this is pretty dry, pretty dry. Maybe there's like a little river here. Some water sweeps over here. I know someone doesn't like it when the rivers run north, but well, these rivers run north sometimes. Let's have a long river coming down here like that. We can make it all curvy. And then over here, that's a lake, I think. Yeah, that's a lake. So let's just say that's where these deposits into here, you know, little ones. And then the lake comes off into there. Empties out this lake. I think this lake would empty actually into, into that river. This is like the Mississippi of our, of our land mass. I feel bad that he's having a legit conversation with Joseph. <laughs> no, that's true. That's fair. You guys do your thing, man. Never take the chat seriously. The apocalyptic idea is legit, though. No, I believe it, man. I agree. Let's put some forests in here, and let's figure out a way to iron out the idea of this apocalyptic world. So, you know what? Let's set this in... Hmm. I guess for the sake of simplicity, let's take our modern world, and I guess we're going to take the United States of America, and we're going to base the pre-civilization on that world, roughly, we can change some things, whatever, then a plague came, killed everyone off, technology restarted, because, I don't know, maybe this island, okay, Let's say, like, the plague, what if the plague happened on, an, like, the rest of the world, and this is the one island that wasn't affected by the plague because it was undiscovered. And then someone discovered this island somewhere in the midst of, you know, the Pacific or Atlantic Ocean or whatever. And on the island, not only is it... So let's go ahead. Not only are the few plague survivors able to get there, so there's, like, you know, so there's no plague... But then, oh, but then we don't have stuff like old abandoned theme parks. So never mind, that that idea doesn't work. I don't know, man. Someone's got to come up with something. Or else we'll have to leave it for the next episode. I'm going to do all this as forest, forest. Forest stuff here. Like that. Would there be a... There aren't usually river deltas in forests, right? Well, um... Amazon. Yeah. Now it's in the forest. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so it does happen. Yeah. I guess because it's, like, usually going to flood there. So trees will, might get... Only certain types of trees will be able to survive the flooding. Right, you have the ones that, like, are good with saturated water. Alright. <laughs> Well, Something to of, think about. Like jungle trees. Yeah, but you, so there definitely can be a delta in the forest. Uh, That's not, yeah, uh, there's no flat. physical reason why. Uh, Alright, yeah, we can say it's flat. This is our made up world. It's flat. It's done. <laughs> cool. This is a kind of interesting way to do forest that I could just keep up with. It's not my favorite way, but it'll work. Okay, I think we'll have some forest around the foothills of these mountains, but the rest is floodplains. Okay, the father has left the building, 
And this is all going to be desert on this side. Up here, I was going to have a forest, some kind of forest. Reference of forest view from high up. I think it's just pretty much green, but let's go check it out. Why not? Let's go check out the Brazilian, the Amazon rainforest uh, river delta. See how that looks. Brazil. Amazon river delta. I wonder if it'll actually come up. Nope. Amazon river. Alright, whatever. I'm sure we can find it. There it is, looking beautiful. There it is. Uh, brown. I was like, why are they brown? I'm like, oh, it's rich with sediment. Look at that. That's a beautiful delta. Oh my goodness. I'm getting chills. Look at that. Glorious delta. Look at that. Mixing it up. Oh. Digging the delta. Alright. Getting way too excited about this delta. Could be like a D and D underdark. Is that all right? A marina trench. You go crazy with the monster designs the place is so low there. Okay, so an underground play or I mean a deep degree sometimes, but how do people get there to even see the monsters? I'm letting the name come before. How late am I to this stream, by the way? What's up, Nimzo? I know you from somewhere. You just woke up, isn't it? Where do you live? Not only form with the same thickness, do borderline on the bottom side of the form. Oh, I see your 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 scheming or your idea for that. Let's see if I can uh, try it out. Well, maybe this will. I know it's not exactly the same, but oops. Usually, I like to do those little sticks, but in the interest of time, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. When we zoom in more, all right, whatever. I think it looks alright. About 30 minutes. All right. So how long am I gonna stream? Well, I'll just figure and shut this continent. That'll be the plan. Um. You know what? There should be some forest here. Oops. You know what? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to mix the. The mod, oh man. Alright, we'll talk about it next time, but I might, are you guys going to hate me if I make an executive decision to not have it be a modern world that became an apocalyptic fantasy wasteland, but instead was like just a more advanced fantasy world that became a low fantasy apocalyptic wasteland? I feel like, I don't know, I'm having trouble wrapping my head, I guess I'm just so fantasy, fantasy minded. I'm surprised that you guys aren't. I've been betrayed. Actually, is any of you guys play D? I want to play D. I play D and D. Actually, I play D and D with someone I met on the on uh, from Fantastic Anatomy. It's the only person I play D and D with. Actually, he's betrayed me by not being here. At two, Brutus. At two. <laughs> it's not that I told him I was gonna do this or anything, but I should actually text him. Uh, but I don't have my phone on me. Whatever. All right, and then I think this peninsula should be pretty foresty too. I'm going to make this whole peninsula pretty much just a forest. And then, where? what else do you guys want? Do you want anything else? It's a, uh, Any other major geological features? Let's get a desert and stuff. Oh, we don't really have an icy area. I mean, I guess this would be icy. It'll be ice and snow up in the mountains and stuff like that. Um, I guess there should be a forest here, too. Okay, and then I'm assuming that this is farmable land, farmable land, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Let's put a... Okay, you know what? Let's go with this one. Let's put like a deserty, deserty thing going on. So we've got... This is kind of... Or you could do it like that, I guess. The desert. Maybe this is like... Yeah, this is like the sand dune desert down here. Like, really, there's nothing. And then this is more just like, like dry plains. So you could probably graze, graze a herd out there. It's tough living, but a tough, a tough peoples could do it. All right, and then there, this is pretty probably good farmable land, I guess. Whatever. Do do do. I think we're getting pretty much, we've got the basics. 
D and D is for hardcore gamer. What? No, we don't have to make D and D hardcore. Actually, fifth edition is pretty accessible. The older ones are a lot more. Uh, the farther back you go, the more hardcore it is. You mean the society? Sounds like society super broke down. Oh, I'm guessing the limiting my mind is about the the uh, the the future the future thing coming back to to, to the whatever. Um. I me mean, having trouble wrapping my head around that. I'm supposed to start with a campaign tune. I'm more of an artist. I like to create fantasy art. My ups, creatures, characters, you name it. Me too, dude. I am on the same page there. Are you going to be DMing the campaign, Nimzo? Also, I love the player and master handbook. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, also, I don't know anyone who's play interested in the game and D&D. &D, you know me. <laughs> That's one. Uh, um... Are you on Discord? I could introduce some people. No, I tried to go on Discord, and I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I don't really understand. I don't know. I guess I'm not that social about... never been, like, um, consistent with social media. I'm a bit of a... Perhaps a bit of a lone wolf. Now, I think I'm definitely going to have to zoom into this region to do a little bit of, um, of the pirate stuff. Now, I'm going to make this a little more interesting because I don't know. I feel like it, it should be. You know, like, this is the kind of place where you, you can't just come in there and you see what's going on. Like, you're going to go around corners and you never know what's going to be waiting for you and stuff. It's this crazy bay. And it's a perfect stronghold for a pirate army. You know? Alright. Organizational skills. Well, in terms of time time yeah the one the hardest uh thing about playing dnd &D, i think is the time commitment because you need to play for like three hours each time probably at least two two at the very very least but probably not and like three to like five i play like for like six or seven hours sometimes when i'm um in a session and also yeah that's cool dude cryptic dnd is awesome i love D, &D man Arcane Trickster, that's an interesting uh, choice. Yeah. Creating all the maps for the campaign. That's cool, dude. You should sell, uh, sell them, send them to me. Or sell them. Or sell them to me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't know what I'll do with them, but I'll own them. And that'll be something. All right, let's make a little compass and keep it simple. Can I do like something like this just to make it fancier? After I said I keep it simple. North. And I'll let you guys figure out the rest. Um, okay, cool. So are we going to place any cities and... Um, and and things or should we just call it a day for now what do you guys think maybe we should sleep on it and try to figure out you know maybe i can wrap my head around this um this modern world turned fantasy come up with some cool ideas on that and come back or uh or what do you think i guess the way that i create worlds is i start from like the very beginning so i'll say like who settled here and I'll build up. So what, what we need to do with this is to start, start from the very beginning, build up to modern days, then destroy the modern day civilization, or not modern day, or yeah, or modern day, or whatever, the advanced civilization, then destroy it with some cataclysm, and then build it up again from scratch. What you guys are proposing is a, is a long and um, in-depth thought exper experiment. Which I might, I might just be down for, but, um, but are you, but are you, I'm going to wrap it up this time. I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger because I, I think we all need to do some thinking. We've had a long day. You know what I'm saying? And look, I made this a pretty, a pretty sharp map. So we're going to come in here at one point, like watch this. Make a new layer right there, and I'm gonna call it Pirate Bay. Pirate Bay, but we'll come up with a different name. I don't want to be too obvious. Maybe I call it Pirate Bay. Like we can zoom all the way in. Let's see if I made it. If the resolution is 
as good as I wanted, as I thought it was. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, where well, it's not as good as I thought it was, but it's pretty good. Cause so I can go like that. I can make. Whoops. I can come here. Wait, wait. Go here. And then we're gonna flesh out Pirate Bay a little bit with some. Give him the more proper form. Given it little islands, little islands, little islands where people can live in harmony if they should choose to. That is choice, our gift, and our curse. Okay. Wait, what did I miss? What did I miss? Don't leave me on the... Oh, I didn't miss anything. Why not add more color to the map? Because I'm lazy. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I like laughter. That's good. <laughs> I'll be putting it on a Patreon. What? Feel free to hop on. Oh, cool. I gotta find you. Alright, let's see. Can you uh, put a link to your Patreon in here? Or will YouTube mark it as spam because it's a nerd? But yeah, definitely link your Patreon. Nismo, excuse my ignorance, but what the heck is that? Patreon? No, oh, man, Patreon. You like a uh, patronized artist? Oh, patronized. That has a bad ring to it. I know you give you 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 become a patron of the arts. <laughs> you have a schedule that you follow for drawing every day? Not these days, but I used to. Check out my uh, how to create your own art curriculum video, and that will show you. It will give you an idea of that. And I wasn't like a strict schedule guy, but I had an outline. I can sense it. What can you sense? You feel lost at the moment to me. <laughs> Maybe. I think uh, life is, is just a constant state of feeling lost. But then once you accept it, you're chill. It's all good. Do yourself a move on. It doesn't matter. What? I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. If I say, say one more trick. Oh, one more trick for you. Add wave line near coast. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Um, I think I'll put more detail into the ones when I zoom in, like I'm doing now, but I'm not going to bother for now. Apologies, Nismo. Okay. I'm going to get my own Patreon soon. That's what, uh, Jimmy says, but I was like, I don't know what I put on Patreon that, like, like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to have, like, like, keep, keep videos from people for a nominal amount of money. So, I'm not sure what I could put on Patreon. I guess I could put stuff like the PlayStation, I mean the PlayStation, Photoshop documents and stuff from the from the shows. And I could do like a podcast or something where I'm just a lot more freeform. But I don't really have time to put together like high production value stuff that I feel would be, you know, um, um, you know, worth worth paying for. <laughs> like something that I would say, like I would pay for that. I know that everyone's different, and I might be a little bit cheap. Or no, I don't know. I'm not. I just... I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Patreon.com Oh, slash Nismo. Okay, that's a good idea. You can't pull its links. Nimzo. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go right now. So I don't forget. Leave it open in a tab. Com slash Nimzo. Nims of the Conquering Hero. Oh, dang, man. Use a creep. Use a creep, bro. Oh, that's pretty cool. Dang, that's sick, man. That's really good. That's the, um... Is that the, um... Arcane Trickster you're talking about? Wait, hold up. I like this ball. Oh, yeah, he's got his health potion. I always wondered how people hang, like, in Diablo 2. They got, like, 14 health potions. Dude, this is bomb. That's cool, dude. Do you have any videos and stuff on how you make these? I really like that. It's got, and I mean this in a good way, a cute vibe to it, <laughs> which I like. Like if you see my chibi stuff, it has like a little bit of like a cool cartoon. Nice, dude. All right, this is cool. I'm going to check it out more later. Oops, I almost forgot I was live streaming, except I was talking to myself, so I didn't. I don't know. Cool, cool. So that's Patreon, by the way. So you can uh, pledge us an amount of money per month, and then you get to unlock different um, tiers. So you get uh, 
you know, different uh, content. So you'll see. If <laughs> he's worth something, then we're gonna kill you. Yeah, and then with your computer, whatever is gonna die. Oh, dude, Frederick the Great. That's why they call you the Great. But I think you underestimate the power of my computer, good sir. <laughs> 22% is more than enough to destroy you. Ha ha ha. Sorry, Frederick. But um, when you got a name like Frederick the Great, you're pretty much challenging. You're pretty much asking people to challenge you for the right to your throne and your empire. So I can't. I can't just pass up the opportunity. Look, Tarogar. Victory or death. You see, that is the orcish way. Oh, and I didn't know, did I ever mention this in any of the videos that I'm an orc? <laughs> I think I said I'm an elf, but that was a lie. Because I am a, a devious orc. Or am I a devious elf? Or am I none of the above? Or a half orc, but half elf. You know what I'm saying? Alright, I think I'm losing it. I'm working on that content on YouTube. Oh, yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta let me know when that, like, post a comment on my video or whatever. Let me know when you got some videos up. So I can check it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what you see. Yeah, right, what you see. You're just trying to to um you're just trying not to you're trying to act cool now, now that you've been caught. But you don't know. You don't know what Patreon is. You don't know. You gotta be in the inner circle, man. You gotta be in like a secret society to know what Patreon is. I saw the orcs you drew earlier. Yeah, man. I drew some orcs. That's right. For sure. <laughs> oh, cool. So it seems like the stream's working better because you guys are answering me like close to real time, which is which is crazy. All right. So I think I've done enough of this right now. I'm just actually having fun. I really like drawing weird little shapes like that. I'll flesh out this area a little more and we can chat. But um, for next time, I don't know when I'll stream again. Maybe even tomorrow or something. I guess, do I need to make a schedule? Can I just do it whenever I want and let fate decide if you guys can hang out or not? Um, that's how I roll, pretty much. That's pretty much how I roll. But, I want to get some help on this. On this kind of stuff. I might just try to do it, like, in on weekdays in the afternoon, like, after work kind of thing, like this time. It seems like a reasonable time before I'm too tired, when I'm not working. <laughs> no Patreon, I swear. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Alright, I believe you. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I hope you know that. I don't want to. I don't want to troll you too hard. Do what you want. Do you mean that, <laughs> Frederick? Do you mean that by challenging you to Mortal Kombat for your throne? Is that what you? Is that what do what you want is referring to? <laughs> Oh my gosh, go on regular once a week. Yeah, that would make sense. But what if I get too excited? You should do it on on weekends. I know I should. I was gonna do it this weekend, but I end up super busy. I was actually at the Oscars doing film running, but I literally did nothing. Like I sat behind the red carpet area reading my book, The Bubishi, um, the classic manual of combat, uh, for like five hours, and then I got to go home because I didn't have to do the the uh, photo room which is after the award show when they stand there with their awards in front of that uh, screen it's like a tiny room with like tons of photographers what you don't see is like that room is packed with photographers like shoulder to shoulder <laughs> it's crazy anyways so um so yeah but I don't think I'm gonna do any more film running because I don't like it and it's tiring and I guess it pays but it's yeah I got a steady job now so the Oscars sucked. Yeah, I heard, dude. <laughs> I didn't even watch them. I don't care about that stuff. I don't know who anyone is. Um, yeah, that's what people say, that it's cool to be there. It's Yeah, but it's just like, I don't know, man. Call me by your name. You should... Call me by your name should have won. Oh, is that the name of a movie? Oh, yeah. I think it's on Amazon Prime or something like that. Is that a good one? Is it going to make me sad or something? I don't like movies that make me sad. I don't like movies where people get, like, abused and stuff, which seems to be, like, every quote-unquote good movie these days. Like, I mean, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't want to feel crummy when I'm watching a movie. It was amazing. But yeah, it was amazing, but it's going to make me it's going to make me hate hate like feel sad and stuff through most of the movie and then at the end I'm going to feel happy, but it's like so what? I felt sad more more than I felt happy or something like that. I'd rather feel happy the whole movie and then the ending sad cuz then I'm like, "All right, cool. I just felt sad at the end." And then I go and do something else with my life and then I'm I'm cool. I'm not going to sit there for 45 minutes feeling sad. Okay. Battery is at 12%. Photoshop is freezing up. We're in we're in a critical state here. Live stream, health orange. We're in we're in code orange, you guys. All right, this live stream might just cut off at any second. That's what makes it so exciting. I'm going back to where the internet sucks more. I know this is a counterintuitive decision. So if I lose you guys forever, or at least until next time, peace, God bless. And stay fantastic, everyone. Ah, my Wacom tablets got caught on the doorknob. Dun dun, dun 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 dun, dun dun dun. My mom says, "Hey, Poppy." Dun 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 dun, <laughs> dun dun dun. Famous last words. <laughs> God forbid. Uh, all right. I wonder what we're have to do. All right. We're back in the masjid. Can you guys still hear me? Is it even working? Yeah, what are my goals for YouTube? No, no. It's about love. All right, all right, all right. It's happy but sad at the end. All right, I can do happy but sad at the end. That I can do. I'll try to check it out, dude. Oh, Frederick the Green, your, your image, your profile pic or whatever just loaded. And it's great. It's exactly how I imagined you looked. Um, actually, I think I'm going to wrap this live stream up anyways because I'm getting hungry. And I'm at an impasse with the world building process. So, um. Aja pa full. Whatever, fault. It's set up. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's French. But, I don't know, man. HC, HC, RIP, RIP. Oh, man. Oh, we're back? Oh, yeah, we're back green. Lol. All right. <laughs> like how everyone goes R.I.P. when the live stream goes down. So what are we gonna call this world? Let's just let's just call this world something, all right? And then let's just play it by ear from then on. All right? It's green. Yeah, yeah, it is. Look at that. Sometimes counterintuitive decisions work. I'm a huge proponent of your intuition and my goals with YouTube since someone asked and I know Jimmy asked and we had a prolonged conversation is I don't really have goals with YouTube at this point I thought about the idea of like trying to make it a full-time thing but I feel like I don't know man I know I know people are gonna say like this is just a this is like a mental thing you know what I'm saying it's like but I just don't feel like I'm ready and I think it's my intuition it's just like not yet Got a just got a great job that I'm really happy with. Um, thank God. The reason general. Oh, I even forgot to plug in my thing. And uh, I don't like. And a lot of love stories are graphic. Even I don't like graphic heterosexual stuff in television and stuff. I think you know you gotta you gotta. I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. And uh, so that might be an issue. But um, I should check it out. I should check it out. And if I don't like it, I'll just turn it off. That's what I do. <laughs> I have no problem with watching part of a movie and never finishing it. I, in fact, that's all my, like, sad he was going to say something about his goal. My goal! <laughs> I don't have my goal, man. I don't have a goal right now. My goal is to, to survive until I die. And then, God willing, not, then go, you know, you know, just go to heaven. <laughs> And then if I can do that, then everything else really seems inconsequential to me. And then if I'm wrong about the whole heaven and hell thing, then everything is pretty inconsequential and from an objective sense. And I don't really care about fame or fortune. I just want to live a peaceful life. Maybe I'll become a mountain hermit one day. You know what I'm saying? I've always considered that, but... I think I uh, romanticize it a lot more than it is. Like, uh, it got pretty darn cold and rained here, and it was pretty uncomfortable, man. <laughs> you know, you having trouble sleeping, 
And this is like my and the roof was leaking and stuff, so I'm sure mountain hermits have to deal with a lot worse than that. It didn't even snow. It just got frosty. And I'm already like, man, I'm cold. So, um So I just try to be grateful for what, what's going on now, what I got. Had fun for five minutes I was here. <laughs> Alright. the movie yeah I said I'll try I'll have to check it out I don't know how I would feel about a romantic movie with a gay couple and also um, I don't like movies that have any like 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 graphic stuff you know anything further than kissing and honestly I know this is like I'm trying to be politically correct or incorrect but I think I would feel feel uncomfortable watching two guys kiss you know I just that's how I'd feel. <laughs> so if there's more than a little bit of that, I'm probably going to not watch it. But I, I, I should check it out. Honestly, I, I really don't like dramas and romance in general. But when I think of romance, I'm thinking of like... Like when you said that, I was like thinking of like Moonrise Kingdom or something. Like a quirky romance. Or like like basically Wes Anderson type romance. <laughs> That's my genre of romance. Or romantic comedies, but with an emphasis on comedy. I hate it when you go to a rom-com and it's mo way more rom than com. And you're like, what? What's what am I here for? <laughs> to meet me at the okay. But I think the internet works better in the house. Sorry, I'm typing you guys. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I don't under like the whole PC. It's funny. Okay, so I'm I'm definitely sympathetic to well, I don't know, whatever. But my sister is totally like on the PC tip and we don't argue about it but I'm um, sometimes I'm like you gotta relax <laughs> like I gotta be able to talk to you like a normal human being and since I'm her brother you know she gets it and she knows I'm not like racist or whatever thing that the non-PC supposedly implies so she's not like mad but like then she'll explain to me well when you do this and this happens and I'm like yeah but I really don't mean it that way and I don't know my big argument and people hate this is like everyone's got to stop being so sensitive and just be like, just kind of like, when someone is a bad person, that's on them. Even if they put it on you, it's still on them, and it sucks that it's on you, but like, I guess if you're not religious, then that's just like an injustice that must be solved on earth, but I believe that those kind of injustices, you know, eventually um, get righted, and everyone gets uh, an E, you know, it's going to be all willy-nilly, even Stevens at the very end after this life so I don't trip about that and I think those who suffer unjustly in this life are going to be well rewarded for it and this life is gonna be like a dream like you when you wake up from a dream you're like whoa I thought that dream was real but now obviously that dream wasn't real it's gonna be like when you die you're gonna be like oh I thought that life was real and I thought it was longer in dreams dreams they seem to last forever then you wake up and you're like oh wait I can't even remember most of it and it seemed like it lasted in a minute People want to cry over everything now. Yeah, I don't want people to be sad, though. That's the main thing that bothers me, that people get upset about, like, everything <laughs> these days. And not because, like, like I just don't want people to be upset. Why I gotta feel so sad? Like, <laughs> it's, I don't know. I used to, I and I sympathize because I went down the rabbit hole of, like, oh, my gosh, this world is a horrible place. Ah, I'm so stressed out about it. But then I was like, well, that's not helping anyone. Fantastic thinking. The fantastic anatomy of a brain. Of a of a heart. I wouldn't say brain. I think people over like glorify the brain. And uh and the heart, man. The heart has taken a back seat. And people are like, oh the heart and they think of like lust and love and stuff like that. But that is not what I'm talking about. Look up the concept of Shen, S H E N, um, the mind heart in like uh Chinese uh, philosophy it's one of the three treasures Jing Qi and Shen you probably heard of Qi at least and um, that's more what I'm talking about but um, yeah 
cool. So, <laughs> I'm glad people are getting along in the chat. This is lovely. It's warming my heart. I don't want to stop the stream because it's warming my heart. Now, are you guys able to see the screen now? You stopped complaining and writing RIP. So, does that mean you can hear me and and see what's going on? It's a problem with the PC culture. In order to think you have a risk of finding some people who get offended by everything. Wait, the problem? Okay, hold on. I have to read this slower in my mind. <laughs> yeah, we got to decide a name. That's right. The name for this continent. And I'll probably take the names you guys put together and then uh, all the names you give individually and smash them together all crazy. Okay, cool. You guys can hear me. Um, uh, Shen. Shen, right? Now I'm, now I'm questioning myself. I think it's like that. Let's Google it real quick. Uh, Chinese religion? No, that's not what I'm looking at. What? Mind intent. Hold on. Shen? I thought this would be easy to come up. Shen, Qi, and Jing. Am I saying it wrong? Yeah, no. The three treasures. I guess this knowledge is a little more obscure than... I would have expected. Anyways, if you guys are interested in that, you should probably should research it on your own, but definitely bring it up in a comment or email me or something so we can discuss it. <laughs> uh, fantastic going really out of hand. I don't know what that is. Okay. I will read about that later for sure. Cool, cool. Yeah, no, it's really... Um, I'm a big fan of traditional Chinese medicine and the philosophy surrounding it because first, it's a really ancient practice. And I kind of believe that things that... Things that have truth last the test of time. Nothing is going to stick around for thousands of years if it's not based in truth. That doesn't mean that the form you see it in today is its pure form. It still has, I'm sure, a kernel of truth, or else it would have been, you know, uh, it, it wouldn't be able to survive. But you'll see that all these cult religions and uh, what's it, uh, denominations and stuff, I don't think they're going to last the test of time, though the core religions and the scriptures and stuff like that will, because of that reason. Or at least the further the denominations go into Crazyville, the shorter they last. Like cults, they usually don't last hundreds of years because they're way too far off from the truth. Um, but yeah, so like I'm talking about like these crazy, you know, the craziest, the crazy cults. I mean, well, you could argue that uh, many denominations of different religions are cults these days. But uh, let's not get into that right now. Is Shen the name of the world? That's cool, man. The world of Shen. All right, I'm putting that in as one of the um, one of the possibilities or one of the components. It's exactly what I'm saying. People shouldn't complain about physical about the physical bullying. Not complaining about the physical bullying. Not this crap. Uh, wait, what did we say about that? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. It's okay though. You guys are having a combo too. Um, it's all form of I'm having like 10 different like like thoughts or whatever and it's really relaxing actually just chatting with you guys getting some ideas seeing where a conversation leads us and uh, and doing like a, a map drawing because map drawing is very relaxing and that it has Shin the world of Shen. And this really makes me want swords, giant swords and melee weapons. And so that brings it back to like, okay, now everyone's got melee weapons, but can you cut through samurai armor? But then you got to go, I think then you got to go full, you know, full, full sci-fi, right? It's good that we have those talks. It shot him off track. Now he's going to learn to stay on track. Yeah. Good luck with that. I've been... My whole life, I've never stayed on track. <laughs> like, literally, like, on the large scale of my life and on the small scale of individual conversations. It's very hard for me to stay on track. <laughs> but it, it works out. It's cool. Unless I'm, if you're trying to get somewhere, then staying on track is extremely important. It is paramount. <laughs> but if you're like me, and the journey is the destination, I suppose, if you're... Okay. Love it. 
All right, yo. To all my good friends, peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. Stay. Oh my God, I'm gonna make one of those <laughs> Shia LaBeouf videos where I'm like, you got to stay fantastic. Why would you not be fantastic? Why would you not? <laughs> uh.